Hello. In this video, I will go over a beginner's guide to base building in Scum. Please remember, Scum is still an early access game at the time of making this video, so some of the information in this video may have changed. So to get started, you will first need the most basic base building supplies. Things you will need to get started are a tool to cut wood slash sticks, which could be an ax, a saw, or a chainsaw. You will also need nails for door frames and rope for some of the basic base elements. Tools needed for base building can be found by looting on the island, but you also have the ability to craft a basic axe or knife to help you get started. These basic craftable tools do not have a lot of durability, so be prepared for them to break very quickly. Now ropes and nails can be acquired by looting for them, crafting them, or purchasing them from the in-game trader. I would also like to recommend a way for you to repair your tools, which for an axe slash a saw would be a grinding stone, but for a chainsaw, you will need to utilize a toolbox to repair. It is also important to remember when using a chainsaw, you will need gasoline to refuel the chainsaw. Now that you have the basic items required to get started with base building, you need to pick a location to build your base. Now, depending on what server you're playing on, there are many different limits and what areas you're allowed to build in. In Scum official servers, they have the following no build zones. If you play on a private server, then I recommend checking your server Discord channel for information regarding no build zones. Once you know where you can and cannot build, you will want to pick a spot for your starter base. Now I recommend if you are solo to try to hide your base, but for squads, you should try to build your base around a prefab building, and if possible, on the highest ground in the immediate area. But when you are starting out with base building, you will find areas you like and don't like. So try experimenting with different locations to find out what you like best and what suits your playstyle. Now that you have chosen a base location, you will need to navigate to the building menu to get started. So to open the building menu, press tab on your keyboard and then navigate to the crafting tab at the top of the screen. Under the crafting tab, select base building. Under the base building tab, you will find all the blueprints associated with base building. On the left side of the menu, you will see that all the different subcategories related to base building. Under each subcategory, you will find the blueprints for specific items. Each blueprint requires its own specific elements to create. So once you have selected the item you want to build, double click on the item and it will give you the option to now place the blueprint. When placing a blueprint, the color red means it's unable to be placed in that location or there is something preventing the blueprint from being placed. Blue and green mean that the blueprint can be placed. To place the blueprint, press F. Once the blueprint is placed, you have the ability now to look at the blueprint to see what items are required to craft it. You can also see what items are required for the blueprint by pressing the details button at the bottom of the crafting menu once you have clicked the blueprint you want to craft. Now, depending on your character's engineering skill, the quantity of items needed will vary. So if your character has no engineering skill, it's going to require more items to craft the blueprint compared to if someone has a character that has advanced engineering skill. Now that you understand how the blueprint system works in Scum, you want to get started building by placing your flag blueprint and filling it. Your flag is how you lay claim to a specific area of land you want to build on. Your flag has two limits, which are the building area and the base element limit. The building area limits associated with your flag are indicated by the blue lines that appear as you are placing the flag or when you press F on the flag when it says show flag area. The blue lines represent the building limits of your flag zone, meaning that base building elements can only be built within the blue lines of your flag zone. The base element limit is the limit of individual base building elements that are allowed to be built within a flag zone. The limit varies from server to server, but this can be checked once the flag has been placed or if you are on a private server, it may be stated in the server information section of the server discord. If you are having issues placing your flag, you may be experiencing one of the following things. Either you are in a no build zone, you are too close to another player's flag, or the location on the ground you're trying to place the flag is too uneven or there is something in the way preventing the flag from being placed. 
Now that you have established your base area and have placed your flag, you can begin base building. There are limitless ways to build a base, but the very basics are the following. You need to build a perimeter wall or a small cabin, a door to get in and out of your perimeter wall or cabin, and a place to store your loot which can be done with a chest or a wardrobe. Now that is the most basic form of a base and is not very secure depending on what server you are playing on. If you play on a PvE server, then that is all you need, but if you play on a PvP server, then you will need to spend more time building and upgrading your base to make sure it is more secure. If you are playing on a PvP server, then I recommend you build multiple doors, multiple layers of walls around a prefab building. The minimum amount of wall layers I tell new players they should target is three, and when it comes to doors, the more you have, the better. More doors equals more locks protecting your loot. Now that you have built one of your first bases in SCUM, you will need to know a few more things to improve it just a little bit more. Just make sure that on your doors you are utilizing enforced locks, dial locks, and lock protection. This will help slow down lock pickers trying to raid your base. Put out mines and traps to help defend your base. Mines and traps are very easy for raiders to avoid, but they will help slow down raiders. Nail traps and improvised mines are the most commonly used ways of base defense in scum. Once you have built your base, you now have the ability to upgrade your base elements to make them stronger. Go to the element you want to upgrade, hold F on it, and select upgrade. Then look at the blueprint to see what items are needed to complete the upgrade. When building in a prefab, you can utilize window fortifications to block off windows that players are able to jump through. You can also use window fortifications as shooting points for base defense. Another common base defense strategy is utilizing barbed wire elements around your base. Barbed wire elements will damage players if they run into them, so the only way for players to get around them is to either destroy them or jump over them. Lastly, Scum is a PvP-based survival game, so you will be raided, but do not give up. Use the raid as a learning opportunity to improve at the game and think of ways to improve your base and rebuild. Scum is a difficult game to get started in, but once you learn the basics and start gaining experience, the game becomes extremely enjoyable. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, feel free to hit that like button so YouTube knows to share this video with other new Scum players. If you would like to see more weekly Scum content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. For more videos on base building tips, make sure to click the card at the top of the video. But like always guys, do good, do have fun, and do be kind. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.